My name is Robert Huber and I will introduce you to the Envy Plus implementation case 14 SOS and SSN ontology based data acquisition and near real time data quality checking services. Near real time quality control is a common problem for research infrastructures. Every acquired observational data must undergo quality control before it can be published or otherwise used. Quality control is an activity of the curation phase of the Envy Plus research data lifecycle. During Envy Plus, we found that many quality control routines are common to infrastructures. For example, almost every research infrastructure is using spike or outlier tests or is implementing tests to verify the instrumentation limits. During Work Package 3, which is about data transmission, we found that standardization of data transport formats and protocol is a key issue. Today, data is transmitted frequently in proprietary protocols and formats. Data is transformed to uh, standardized formats and uh, distributed in standardized protocols only very late in the data workflow. This is hindering effective data processing and in particular effective data quality control because we have to handle a variety of formats and protocols in order to do this. Therefore, our approach was to move the standard level closer to the sensor and to allow the sensor to use standardized formats as early as possible to ease the standardization also of quality control routines. The objective of use case 14 were to evaluate standardized data transmission and formats for neural time quality control. We plan to use OGC sensor web enablement transactional SOS, the sensor observation service format as a priority standard. But we also wanted to test the usage of uh, semantic sensor network ontology and encoding of data in this format. We aim to identify generic neural time quality control routines, which are suitable for several research infrastructure of many domains. Another objective was to identify and deploy appropriate cloud-based technology for a scalable near real-time quality control. And we wanted, of course, to implement these near real-time quality control routines at our own engines and or on EGI platforms and to evaluate these routines on raw data delivered by standardized data transmission streams. For the implementation of the use case, we use two essential cloud technologies provided by EGI. Apache Storm for processing the data stream and the EGI Argo messaging service, which is based on Kafka to handle the submitted data. The basic idea was to let the sensor publish standardized data onto a dedicated Argo raw data topic or message queue. The Storm topology provides a dedicated spout subscribed to this topic to retrieve the data. And after quality control has been performed by the STORM topology, this quality control checked data is published via another ARG topic or message queue for checked data. This topic can be used by any client which subscribes to it. To use the service, the sensor has to send the standardized data within the JSON envelope required by the Argo messaging service. In this envelope, the data has to be base64 encoded. We use the envelope also to provide some basic metadata about the sent data as convenience. Currently, the service understands two formats. A data series, which is encoded as transactional SOS insert result XML and atomic observations, which are encoded as semantic sensor network ontology-based JSON. The basic concept of Apache Storm is that it is using spouts as a source of streams in the topology. All processing within the topology is done in bolts. The topology itself is the logic for real-time application. And all data within this topology is organized 
in streams and tuples. We have implemented a dedicated near real-time quality control storm topology. A message reader spout subscribes to an Argo topic and retrieves the raw data from this message queue. A message atomizer bolt then splits the message data in two individual atomic observations. These tuples are submitted to a range check controller bolt, which verifies the data value of an atomic observation against the instrument measurement range. An outlier controller bolt then performs an outlier check of each data value, initially based on a modified set score. These bolts add a quality of observation value to each atomic observation to indicate if a value has passed or failed the quality control check. Finally, a quality controlled message packer bolt collects a given number of atomic observations and wraps them into a JSON array and publishes the array within a quality control checked message queue at the Argo messaging service. To test and demonstrate our approach, we have uh, set up a, a playground which we call PTube Demo. The playground consists of a simple pressure temperature Arduino sensor package which is attached to a Raspberry Pi. A set of sensor ML files describes the sensor itself. And we have provided an insert result template which is required for the uh, insert result SOS message. Some Python code creates insert result XML from the sensor values and puts an Argo JSON message to the message queue. At EGI, we have set up an Argo message project, which is called Enri, which is able to collect these messages. Further, we have set up a simple web client visualization tool, uh, which is uh, very useful to see the results. The simple near real time quality control web client we uh, initially use for uh, visualization of uh, quality control results subscribes to the data topic at the Argo messaging queue and it currently supports only uh, PTube demo because this is the only data we actually have for testing. Uh, the web client plots values and indicates uh, when uh, the quality control test has failed by adding red dots here. In the future, we aim to use this uh, topology and architecture also for a demo mission. We uh, have started within WorkPacker 3. In January or February 2019, uh, the Marum Wave Glider will be uh, deployed uh, to collect data in the Atlantic Ocean. And we will use this uh, uh, mission to uh, transmit data in a standardized way, as explained before, and to use the quality control chain we have introduced. We will set up a dedicated uh, topic for this demo mission, and uh, hopefully this will work out as it is planned. The status of the implementation case 14 is as follows. The proof of concept was successful and the first prototype is ready. We experienced excellent EGI support and the Narga messaging queue is ready for MV Plus and uh, quality control tests. We're running Storm topology in the moment only in local mode. We plan to deploy that at uh, EGI as soon as possible. We have some testing and visualization tools available to check the results of the quality control. Our next steps will be, we will implement more near real time quality control tests, which will be community specifics. Initially, we will focus on the requirements of the marine community and focus on the carted tests. We will also implement an OGC SOS spout in order to, uh, in addition to the, the push uh, methodology we applied to also to, to implement a, a pull mode uh, to retrieve the data from an SOS, a sensor observation service. 
as mentioned, we will deploy the storm topology as EGI. And most important, we plan a demo mission in cooperation with Work Package 3, which will start in January or February 2019 uh, using the Marum Wave Glider as a, a sensor platform. Thank you very much.